Hey, it's me, GV. Before the Let's Play episode started, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to show you another cool Amino app that you all might be interested in. This section of the video is a paid promotion, but as I've stated many times before, I only do this type of thing when I really do like the product or service. So if you're unfamiliar with Amino, basically they make apps revolving around a particular subject. I've already done a video section based on their Fallout app, and now they've made an Elder Scrolls app. You can join this community for free, all involving people that are really interested in the Elder Scrolls, and there is a ton of stuff that you can do, see, and interact with inside of this app. People are always uploading awesome posts like this one, which is a photo shoot of the Wormstooth mod, and this one, which is a crazy detailed original character. It's also incredibly easy to share anything that you've created or anything that you like to other social media. So I'm going to be really active in this app and I encourage you guys to join me. I've included links below to a poll that I've created on the app that I'd love for you guys to answer, links to add me in the app, and links to download the app, whether you're on iOS or Android. I hope to see you guys there and enjoy the episode. Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In the last episode, we finished off the Dawnguard DLC once and for all. There's one final thing remaining to do. There is one final thing that remains to be done. One of those is correct. Take the one that's correct and cherish it. Uh, and that is to find the ancient Falmer tombs, tomes for Urag, Gro, Shalub, or something like that. I am forgetting his name, as I always do, because he has one of those crazy forgettable orc names, because they just run together. Um, but yes, we need to find the ancient Falmer tomes. As you can see here, we have three out of four. One, two, three. Uh, we have not gotten this one appraised yet, but after we do, there's only one that remains. And I'll probably grab that just whenever I have time in between an episode. For now, we're going to be shifting gears uh, quite I was going to say quite literally, but that's not true because there's no shifting gears in Skyrim. I guess there is, though. Like, we can go to a Dwemer gear and shift it. We could literally do that. But what I mean is that we are going to be completely doing something different. We are done, finally, with the Dawnguard DLC and everything inside of it. Except for finding that last book, like I said. But, Adronach is completely done with being a vampire. It drains half of his power, if not more... And we can see right now, this is a perfect opportunity to see why this infuriates, infuriates Adronach so. Um, it drains half of his power in the daytime, and as soon as I started up the save file, it indeed said your vampire blood burns in the sunlight. And if we take a look at our skills, you can see on the bottom there, our health is reduced to 260, our stamina reduced to 140, both of which do not regenerate other than our magicka, which is also reduced, maybe? I'm forgetting if magic is reduced or not. Uh, I don't think it is. But regardless, yes, we are quite finished with being a vampire. Adjanok has heard rumblings that another transformation power exists somewhere that does not drain half of your power during half of the day. And so he is looking for that. Look at the damage that we take to our health from fire in the daytime. It is ridiculous. We need to grab closed wounds now and heal ourselves up like so. Now, what type of dragon is this? And if it could land, that would be great. Of course, we have a shout that will uh, convince it to land. Where is it? Where is it? I know it was in my... There it is. Okay. Any day now, dragon. An elder dragon. Okay, we'll dragon rend it, forcing it to land. We will also go into magic powers and grab highborn, which no doubt... Oh, wow, it actually stuck in my favorites look at that that's great all right let's use closed wounds again we'll wait for this thing to land where'd it go all the way outside of morthal the outskirts okay as it's landed we'll fire another no okay i meant to do you don't have to attack me man there's a million other targets you can attack you elder dragon you okay uh let's see i was trying to grab dragon rend again but we're gonna need closed wounds because this fire damage is gonna do a lot no, 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 no. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I think we got it. Okay, we got it. Now, let's use that again. And we will try the... Uh, what was it called? Lightning Storm Master Level Destruction Spell after grabbing Stone Flesh. There's another alteration increase. Good. Where is it? Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm. There we go. Let's go ahead and use that. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. 
Oh my god. Okay, you see the problem with these master level spells? Okay, I think that just reset our chart. Oh, nope, that worked. Okay. Yeah, that does not even do anything. Okay, all right. That does not even do anything. Uh, let's grab Closed Wounds again. So we're going to need to rely on another spell here. Uh, what do we have? None of the master levels are going to do anything, nor is our... Oh, Storm Thrall will work, though. Uh, nor is our... Um, what was I going to say? Incinerate, because it's a, a, an Elder Dragon that's using fire, of course. So we'll wait, and we'll summon two Storm Thralls, Wrath and Fury. Which will increase our DPS. We are quite powerful in Conjuration. Now I guess we'll grab uh, Incinerate, just because I'm too lazy to uh, switch over. Let's use Dragon Ren. Too lazy to switch over to an Electricity spell, also because we don't really have a powerful one anyways. I really thought the Master Level spells would help us out with that, but no such luck. Okay... Let's use Dragon Rend again. Anytime, pretty much, that we have it available. Highborn is done. We don't have enough magic. Oh, that was close. Okay. Let's heal up a little bit. We just need to rely on uh, Wrath and Fury. Come on, guys. There you go. Can't fly in the air. Wonderful incinerate shot by me. One more should do the trick. Down goes the Elder Dragon. Thank you very much for playing. You failed, but that's quite all right. Now, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, Adronach is quite tired. Oh, look, the elusive restoration increase. Very nice. Adronach is quite tired of being a vampire. It's just wearing on him. His stamina does not regenerate in the daytime. He constantly feels fatigued. He needs to get rid of it. He has heard rumblings as well that there is a way to cure it. But we need to find out how. So let's head into the Moorside Inn and maybe get some more information as to how we can cure our vampirism. Hi there. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Kind of, yes. Heard any rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Interesting. Not what I'm interested in, though. Heard any rumors lately? They say Falian of Morpal has studied vampires, Draugr, and all matter of undead. Now there we go. Good day. We have a new quest here, Rising at Dawn, and this is also pretty poetic, because this means that we can complete another quest that is sort of optional. Well, yeah, well, it's just an annoying quest to have to complete if you're doing a completionist playthrough because you have to be a vampire to complete this. But we have Rising at Dawn. Falion in Morthal is rumored to have studied vampires. He might be able to cure the condition. Speak to Falion. And that's exactly what we will do. Now, everybody that plays Skyrim is a little bit spoiled in the realm of vampire vampirism uh, cures. Because in Oblivion, it was much more difficult. Much more difficult. I don't remember the specifics because I never play as a, um, a vampire in Oblivion. Although I have very, very, a very long time ago. Um, and I know you needed to find grand, like, filled grand soul gems or something like that. It was much more, much more difficult. You'll see how easy this one is. But here's Falion. If you stand before me to accuse me of sacrificing children or eating the hearts of the dead, you may save your breath! I have done no such thing, nor do I intend to. I simply wish to live my life in peace! So then, what do you do? I keep to myself. I offer spells and scrolls to those who need them, and wisdom and conjuration magic for those who wish to learn. Beyond that, I seek only to be left alone to pursue my research. Can you teach me about conjuration? You already know all that I know. Damn straight. I've heard you're an expert in vampirism. I know many things. Studied things beyond the reach of most humans. Traveled the Oblivion Plains, seeing things one should not see. I have met Daedra and Dwemer, and everything in between, and I know enough to see a vampire where others would see a man. I'm looking for a cure. It is possible. I know of a ritual, but have never performed it. It requires a filled black soul gem. 
You will need to kill someone. When you have a gem and have filled it, return to me and I will perform the ritual. I will bring life to your dead body, vampire. Ah, that's right. This one is actually more difficult than I had originally thought. I thought you didn't even have to do anything like this. My talents are much needed here in order to keep Morthal safe. Oh, that's right. It is this easy because you can just buy a black soul gem from him. Wow. <laughs> uh, in Skyrim, or in Oblivion, it's, it's so much more difficult, I remember. Anyways, I have a filled black soul gem. Very well. Meet me at the summoning circle in the marsh at dawn. We shall banish the creature you have become. Mm -hmm. All right. Time to get rid of this vampirism. It does grant him immense power, that is true. But he can't use it in the daytime, pretty much. In towns... He's restricted to places where he can use the power to turn into a vampire lord and all the subsequent power. Mainly, though, the fatigue. It just wears on him. And he's not a young, spry high elf, so it's almost doubly as effective against him. Anyways, meet Falion at dawn. Dawn is 6 a.m., right? So that would be 12 hours for 3 a.m., and then 4, 5, 6. 15 hours we shall wait. I have done this quest. Uh, on my other playthrough. I remember I became a vampire simply just to... Oh, well, actually, I wanted to get all the vampire lord, va vampire lord perks. And then, so I could also do this quest. Two birds with one stone. And look at that. Our vampire blood burns in the sunlight once again. Uh, dust should be 6 a.m., I believe, right? What time is it now? 5.52 a.m. Dawn and dusk, right? So we sh we're waiting for... Dawn, meet Falion at dawn. Dusk is 6 p.m. This should be correct. Although I'm not seeing any sign of Falion. Uh, let's wait till it is 6 a.m. on the dot. And also, you guys are going to need to like get over here because you're probably going to ruin something. As most companions do. If you'd be so kind. A lot of you have been saying that you miss Thorn. Uh, we might summon Thorn again. Thorn and I forget what the other one's name was. Did we ever make another name? Uh, but we'll call them Thorn and Spike. <laughs> if that wasn't already their names. Alright, where is Falion at? 6.05 a.m. It's dawn. Uh, usually it's good to wait one more hour when this happens. Okay, there we go. And there is Falion. Where are you going, buddy? Morthal is a troubled place. It's my duty to see it rest in peace. Okay, no, I need you to come back this way if you'd be so kind. Why are you going over that way? Falion! Maybe it was five? I think Dawn and Dusk is actually like five. Okay, we can't let uh, Falion die here, so let's grab Incinerate. I seem to remember the Vampire Lord stuff. Uh oh, oh, oh. Unless he's coming over to the right spot now. Companions, ladies and gentlemen, or NPCs, I should say. Oh God, make up your mind, Falion. Those fools are actually fighting. Oh gosh. Okay, Falion, what are you doing, buddy? You going back to town? Looks like he's going back to town. So I'm going to assume we need to wait. Uh, let's see. 24 would be seven. But we were at we were here at five, anyways. 24 would be seven. Uh, six, five. 524. Okay, we'll wait till 4. We'll see if that matters. Actually, I'll just see you guys when we meet Falion because this is going to be one of those weird things where we have to figure it out. Okay, Falion seems to be coming over here. It's 538, which is weird because we came here this around this time. So, whatevs. Are you ready, dude? Good, you're here. Let's get this over with. As you desire. Okay. I call upon Oblivion Realms, the home of those who are not our ancestors. Answer my plea. As in death, there is new life. In Oblivion, there is a beginning for that which has ended. I call forth that power, except the soul that... By the way, before he finishes his ritual, let's take a look at our stats. We have 410 Magicka, 260 Health, and 140 stamina. 
Uh, I'll probably not be able to remember those three numbers, but just keep in mind, stamina is around 140, health is around uh, 250, uh, 260, and then magic is 410. The offer. As the sun ends the night, end the darkness of this soul, return life to the creature you see before you. The ritual is complete. And look at our stamina bar regenerating. My talents are much needed here in order to keep Morthal safe. We are no longer a vampire, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at our new stats. So, stamina was increased by 60, which is like 6 levels. Uh, health was increased by... was Wait, no. Stamina was... 140 health was to 60 right so that's 40 uh 50 60 points so again six levels and then magic was increased oh six across the board yes indeed so that's like 6 12 18 levels that we lost pretty much by being a vampire in the sunlight which means we'd have to use copious amounts of waiting in order to you know wait until nighttime so that we don't have that and oh and also the fire the damage um the weakness to fire was pretty significant, actually. The dragons would completely decimate my health each time we fought one. So, yes, we are no longer a vampire lord. Also, Ajanok is just so powerful at this point anyways. I don't think we needed to rely on the vampire lord uh, powers in order to achieve ultimate power. And there's still more power to be accrued. As I've said... Adronach has heard rumblings of another transformation power that will greatly increase our power for the millionth time, but doesn't have any adverse effects, although there are some, but he doesn't know the specifics about that just yet. So what we're going to do now is travel back to Whiterun, which we have not been to in quite a while, uh, so I should probably be able to locate that first and foremost there we go there's white run good old white run and uh we're gonna stop by good old your vasker which uh, again i don't think adronach just knows about yet or knows about yet i don't know why i don't know why i put a just in there but he has heard rumblings and also we did meet uh ayla the huntress didn't we way back when way back when indeed and now when we stop sprinting in the daylight look at that oh sweet sweet regeneration beautiful now my storm atronax are still following me so this is gonna be a tight squeeze but here's your vasker in white run this is gonna be also a tight fit considering what type of character we're playing and what type of character this hall belongs to characters Hey, they're not talking to me. Talk to me. You guys aren't doing anything important. Why does only one storm thrall appear, like, no matter where I go? It's so weird. I never see two at the same time inside of a location. Okay, is this going to end ever? I forget if it does or not. Let's see. Who do we want to talk to? This is the lady that we met. If you remember way back at the start of the Let's Play. Her and her companions, a... We're fighting a giant, and we helped take it down, I think. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Who are the companions? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join the companions? We don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. Talk to Codlack if you think you have what it takes to be a companion. If I think I have I'll what take it takes. <laughs> take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have some sort of... I don't know what you would call this. Um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, with little shards of a weapon, it seems like. Let's go down here into the Jorvasker. Your Vasker living quarters. The J is not pronounced, if I understand uh, the dialect correctly. Okay, something? and we're looking for someone named Codlack Whitemane. One of the cooler names in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Okay, excuse me. Come, come through the door, then. Don't make me recast you, please. Alrighty, I guess I'll recast you, Storm Thrall. Over here, please. 
And we have to cast it again because that's his brother. Okay. Gosh, that is just so... I don't know, it just stops the rhythm, you know? But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Leave that to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's about that time. In the next episode, we will talk to Mr. Codlack Whitemane and attempt to join the companions just to accrue any semblance of power that this order has to offer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.